Okay, this video is on faster than light speed travel. Okay, I'm using a greater than sign here. Greater than you know, light speed. Um, our scientists in the future, the 23rd century, have already made um, ex done experiments and have definitive proof through what they've seen so far. Again, that splash you hear in the water that you can see the ripples coming. You know, we, we've made the splash and we can see where the ripples are going. Um, the only way to accomplish this is not by sheer brute force of some type of fuel or anything like that. It'll never happen. E equals mc squared doesn't change. It, it's still the same in the 20th century. The only way then you can possibly have faster than light speed travel or what seems like faster than light speed travel is if you can also now accelerate yourself by everybody moving through time. Time travel. The only way we'll be able, able to break the supersonic barrier <coughs> is by I mean, this, you guys are going to get to a point where you can't travel any faster using fossil fuels or any other type of, of uh, power generation. You're going to have to move into time travel, and that is the only way you can explain those dudes who are the, our descendants who are coming back to, to look at us and observe us, probably to figure out where they went wrong, who knows, but because they can move through time. That's what we have been able to detect them, um, and there was just the way they described it was just they got weird signals from these uh, UFOs, as you guys refer to them nowadays, and that is because the space-time thing that you guys, how you guys refer refer to it, they're moving through time as well as moving through space. So that's where you can, if you can um, move through a different time where things slow down, then you seem to be moving faster. And if your your um, vehicle is in a different time bubble or whatever, however it is they do it, you know, your vehicle has to be set up somehow or another. We don't even know this yet, even in my time, how they're doing it. But we know that these guys can come and go. At, and they can just disappear, they can turn what seems on a dime and what seems like they're breaking the laws of physics, but we know how, and how we have an idea of how they're doing it. In the 23rd century, we haven't perfected it yet. So even in my time frame, they are, st are still elusive. Um, we still get those, those, those things you see in the nighttime sky. And these guys, those little dudes that are in Area 51, that the you know, government's holding We've already tried to dissect them. We can already see they do have traces of human DNA. They, we believe they are our descendants. But in order to get greater than light speed travel, you have to mess with time travel. That's the way you do it. And it's been determined that um, just like, gosh, how can I put this? There are. You know, the magnetism, electricity are related to each other, and all the forces, the laws of physics, the things that uh, physics affects and affects physics, work together in a recipe that allows you to move out of the, if you thought of, of this timeline that we're on right now as a frequency, if you could change the frequency, you could tra change the rate of time through which you are living, if that makes sense. It's been um, equated, or it's analogous to a, a, a frequency. Like you change frequencies on the radio, and now you're listening to something different. There's a universal frequency, if you will, that if we can change that and manipulate it, you can have different wavelengths of time. Different uh, time dilations, I think I've heard the term in some of your sci-fi movies and things like that, different time dilations or time speeds for all intents and purposes. Okay, I beat that enough. You guys get the idea.